Ryan Bisson. I'm a cancer genetic counselor at Orlando Health. I have been here for 14 years. As a cancer genetic counselor, we help families determine their risk of developing cancer. And we do that by analyzing the family history and by using the results of genetic testing. So I first learned of genetic counseling during a career day in high school. And then when I was in college, I was able to shadow a genetic counselor, and I was excited to find a career that involved genetics and allowed me to work directly with patients. So during a typical genetic counseling appointment, usually the first thing we'll review is a patient's personal and medical history, and then we'll help educate the patient on basic cancer genetics. And if we feel that genetic testing is appropriate, then we'll discuss the benefits, risks, and limitations of genetic testing. Although cancer is common, most cancer is not due to our genes. Only about 5 to 10% of all cancer is due to a mutation in a gene that's supposed to protect you from cancer. Certain rare cancers like ovarian cancer, male breast cancer, and pancreatic cancer have a higher probability of being hereditary compared to other more common types of cancers. So one of the most common questions we receive from parents is about testing their children for a cancer gene mutation. Since most cancer gene mutations don't affect children until they reach adulthood, we'll usually explain to the patients that testing children would not change their medical management. So if you're found to carry a genetic mutation, each of your children have a 50% chance of inheriting that same gene mutation and genes skip a generation? The short answer is no, but sometimes genes look like they could skip a generation. Since mutations in cancer genes increase the risk of cancer, an individual can carry a gene mutation, but they may not develop cancer associated with it. Thank you for watching this edition of Healthcare Heroes.